write another one? Sure, hit it. I love surprises. So does our audience. Well, it's probably just as well. Oh, nobody knows how to take their clothes off these days. <laughs> oh, Adam, did you mean what you said about dinner? What dinner? I've invited Stuart and Marion out to dinner as soon as Stuart's well. You did what? Mm -hmm. Took a page out of your book. Be supportive. So, we'll uh, talk about the details later. I, uh, I really have to go. Adam, would you mind waiting out in the hall for me just so I could speak to you for a minute? Don't be too long. Well, that's bizarre. What is? Adam taking the two of you to dinner. You think maybe he's decided if he can't lick him, join him? Or maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm calling 9 oh, Wait, wait. Uh, I see something. Haley. It's the holidays. Haley's there. Smiling. She thinks everything's okay, but she's wrong. There's something bad. There's danger. Danger's really close. Can you see what the danger is? What is the threat to Haley? This person. Inviting my mother and Stuart to dinner. I'm taking a cue from you. Why the sudden 180? Well, they want to be together. How can I stop them? He's a grown man. I've never stopped you before. Why are you attacking me? I'm doing what you wanted. Fine. Just so you know, I'm going to be at that dinner. Suit yourself? No, I mean it. I am coming to that dinner. I will be there. I look forward to it. I mean it. Hey, Stuart, are you hungry? There's absolutely nothing in this house to eat. You'll have dinner with me tonight. Feels so good to be home. Smell the lilacs. You had a close call, Stuart. You're a very lucky man. You haven't said a word about your trip. Where's your bag? I'll uh, put it in your room for you. Was there some trouble in digging up Joy's coffin? No, no trouble at all. The doctors told you to rest. Go, sit down. Was, wasn't Camille happy that the, that the coffin was full of sand? There was no sand, Stuart. But we put the sandbags in the coffin ourselves. Yes. But now there's a body in it. See something. Haley. It's holidays. Haley's there. She's smiling. She thinks everything's okay, but she's wrong. There's something bad. There's danger. Danger's really close. Can you see what the danger is? 
What is the threat to Haley? This person. A woman. my first day. Wow. Is Mateo here? No, uh, no, he's home resting. It's probably a good thing. I wouldn't want him tearing around here after what he's been through, you know. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, he's great. Well, I mean, except that he's, you know, driving me crazy. Come on, let's get some coffee. Okay. You know, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful or anything, but, you know, I wanted him to wake up for so many weeks, and now that he has, it's just... Look, you went through it, too. Yeah, I know, but I, I just want my life back. I want everything to be the same. You know, is that too much to ask? Mateo wants us to go on a cruise. Well, that would be a good thing. You both could relax. Maybe, but uh, I think it's more the way he sort of... He demanded that we go on a cruise. I feel like I married my father. <laughs> I'm serious. All of a sudden, he's, like, volatile and, and ordering me around and demanding. It's, it's unbelievable. Look, I didn't mean to laugh. It's just that Mateo is one of the most mellow people I've ever met and acting like Adam. No, it's worse. It's worse. I mean, if you combine the bad temper with the controlling thing, forget about it. Mateo, I'm calling a doctor, OK? <sighs> I can see her. I see Haley. Can you see the other woman? She's gone, but I can still... I feel the threat. I still feel it. Okay, but Haley's all right. She thinks she's okay. She doesn't understand she's going to be hurt. So why is it that he doesn't want to go to the apartment? No, he just feels like, you know, it's a place where... Excuse me for a second. I'm sure take this over. I understand why Mateo doesn't want to stay at the apartment anymore. I get that. I do. What I don't get is his attitude. I mean, one minute he's kind and gentle, and the next minute, oof. Mood swings. Yeah. You know, and I spoke to Ruth, and she said that it's normal after trauma, that Joe went through it, and, you know, she said it's the body's way of dealing with the emotions. But I don't know. I feel like I haven't gotten him back. You know, like, I thought it would be Sleeping Beauty. He'd wake up and we'd live happily ever after, but we're not there yet. You will be. Yeah. Haley, you will be. Mateo loves you more than anything. Yeah, I know that. I, I realized that he was out of control for so long, you know, that he wants so desperately to control everything now. He's working overtime at it, but I... I miss him. I miss the way it was. <laughs> no. All right, what do you see? Her face. I see the woman's face. Young, pretty, blonde. Have you seen her before? Who are you? Stay away from her. No, Haley, stay away from her. What is it? 
glass. Cyrus, something's happening. Where'd she go? He's gone. Is this, is this, is this happening now or in the future? It's the future. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Promise. change this. to your injury, but that pain that you were feeling, that pain is real, okay? It's all real. Can't you understand that? Yes, it's I all do. real. Yes, I do understand it. I do understand it, okay? But just realize where you came from, okay? What you just went through, okay? It's possible that this is all just a projection, all the pain, all the fears, like a nightmare. It's possible, okay? When Frederick told you that Maddie was still alive, did you believe him? Yeah, but... Let me tell you, what, that had already happened with Maddie. When Maria came to you in the cave, was she real? Did she save you? Look, whatever. Whatever this stuff means, we are not going to let anything happen to Haley. I'm going to find her. OK, just easy, easy. There's a body in Joy's coffin? Well, there's a skeleton, to be precise. But who is it? Your guess is as good as mine. It's uh, not Joy, that's all I know. Poor Camille. Poor Camille, that little viper tried to have me arrested for murder. She thinks you killed her mother. All she thinks about is revenge. No, no, have you looked in her eyes? There's no meanness there, it's just pain and sadness, like her mother. I went to the cabin. Somehow, Camille showed up there. We talked. Told her all about Joy. About the bird that she rescued. A lot of things. I told her that I would help her. That I would help her find out what happened to her mother. That she could count on us. That we'd be like family to her. That we would support her. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yes, it was nice, damn it. But she's not... Trusting like Joy was. She, all she can think about is revenge. It's not enough that she sabotaged that elevator. She intends to come after each and every one of us. You know, you don't know that, that Camille sabotaged that elevator, and I don't think it's true. Well, Jackson Montgomery believes it, and so do I. She saw you in my clothes. She thought you were me. She saw you get on that elevator, and she saw her chance. 
I have the most amazing adventures when I wear your clothes. The suit, your silk pajamas. You need a cup of tea. The tea bags are in the cupboard over the stove. Marion! Surprise! Hey, come in, come in. Hi, I dropped by the hospital and they said you'd been discharged, so I thought I'd bring you over a little casserole. A casserole for me? Well, of course, who else? <laughs> Uh, there's enough for two. For you and me? Well, I, I, I wouldn't want to presume. Don't you want to have dinner with me? Oh, Stuart, I would love to have dinner with you. Thank you. <laughs> this, this is so nice. Yes. Uh, you want to sit down? Thank you, yes. Uh, did you make that yourself? Oh, I may just as well have. I had to go to three different gourmet shops to find what I wanted. <laughs> I hope you like chicken in beurre blanc sauce with the porcinis. I hope so, too. <laughs> porcinis? Is that baby porcupines? Oh, no, no, no. They're, they're wild mushrooms. Oh, I love those. <laughs> okay. Adam's afraid of them. He, he got a bad one when he was a little boy, got it out of the woods. It made him pretty sick. They're perfectly harmless. Marion. Adam. Marion brought me a casserole. A casserole? You? Well, you don't have to give me too much credit, darling. I just went into a store and bought it. <laughs> oh, Paul. Oh, hi. Hey, buddy. Boy, hey, well, this is it's like a surprise party, only better, because everybody's surprised. I was certainly surprised. Uncle Adam, how was Pigeon Hollow? A disappointment. Like so many other things these days. Oh, like I said, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. He's a it's a miracle that Mateo's even alive. You're not. You sound like a wife who's been through it, and now you want things back to normal. Yeah. You know, it's almost our first year anniversary. Yeah, I remember. Are you going to do something special? Actually, I was hoping that we could go away for a few days and try to make a baby. A baby? Yeah, I'm ready. You're ready? Why, why do people say that? What does that mean when you oh, say you're ready? I want one. You know, I never wanted a baby before. I was afraid, you know, with my childhood and role models. I don't think so. Yeah, I can relate. But now I get these cute little catalogs in the mail, you know, with the little shoes mm -hmm. and the little hats and a customer will come in with a baby and they smell so sweet most of the time. Mateo's family, I just see the way they treat each other and I know he would make a really good daddy. So you guys have talked about it? Well, before the whole hospital nightmare happened, we had a really good talk about it, you know, on Valentine's Day. and You know, it was like we had We'd both thought it in our hearts, but we never admitted it out loud to each other. And I don't believe it. Look who's here. We're just talking about you. I turn around, you're gone. I looked everywhere. Uh, uh, you look great. I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you, Liza. Listen, get, get your things. My things. Yeah, your books, your, your whatever, your bag. We're, we're getting out of here. We honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm not so sure. But I'd like a drink. Oh, sure. Coming right up. Come on in. You can put your coat on that stool. Let me see. Um, white wine, right? Wrong. I'd like a whiskey double shot straight up, please. Boy, I just lost a bundle on you. I'm sorry. I beg your pardon? Uh, I'm a little new at this, see, and every time I get bored, I kind of play this little betting game with myself. Oh, so you bet on what people order. That's right. I just lost about $1,000 because I thought you had a nose for white wine. 
Well, sorry I made you a loser. Oh, hey, no, not me. I just figured that this being a university town, you were a college student. You know the type. Mummy and Daddy call you Muffy. Um, everybody belongs to a country club and is very nice. <laughs> they are. But that doesn't necessarily make me nice. Sometimes I can be very naughty. Is that so? Mm hmm Tell me more. Well, I'd rather show than tell. Ooh. I mean, Daddy know you talk like that? Or is this some kind of a joke? Well, I guess if you knew me better, you'd understand. Well, there's, <clears throat> there's one thing you know how to do is toss down the juice. Well, that's not necessarily the only thing I know how to do. I have other talents as well. To give free home demonstration? Anytime you say. What if I said right now? Well, aren't you a bit tied up here? No, no. As a matter of fact, I go off duty here in about five minutes. And I don't have to be back here until the dinner hour. Well, okay. I'll pay for my drink and we'll go. No, 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 no. That's, that's okay. Let's just say that this one's on the house, all right? Fine. When we get to my house, I'll give you one on the house. And that's really where we're going. Why not? We should enjoy the comforts of home. <sighs> you know, I've never been one to look a gift horse in the mouth, but <sighs> I gotta admit, this is a little amazing. Why are you complaining? Oh, no. No, I like a lady who's full of surprises. Then is it Tad that you want to hurt so desperately? Tad is out of my life, as you are. I don't care what he thinks, and I couldn't care less what he does. Well, I don't believe you. I believe you're trying to make him jealous. And I bet you made sure that Tad saw you with Duke tonight. Actually, the only one that saw that I was with Duke was the man at the hotel. Well, if that's the case, Liza, the only one you're trying to destroy is yourself. And you will if you keep this up. Oh, I know you're concerned. Oh, please, I am. I am concerned. Please, Liza, stop this kind of behavior for your own good. I'm going to stop nothing. And you want to know what you could do with your concern? Look, you can't go on like Hello. Uh, Marion, it's Ruth Martin. I'm calling you from the hospital. Oh, uh, Ruth, uh, is uh, anything wrong? Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Uh, it's just that I'm on my way home, and I... I wonder if you'd mind if I'd stop by for a minute to see you. No, uh, of course not. Uh, uh, please do. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you. Bye. What do you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> 